This video will show you how to apply an enamel finish on the rotating spray rack with the 30 door dry rack with wheels. When spraying the backside, don't spray the sides of the door so it can easily be held with the fingers so to flip the door. The painted inside part of the door will barely touch the four bend aluminum rods on the inside edge. It seems like the door is almost hovering in midair. Now spray the front and the sides, then take the two grip holders and hold them on a 45 degree angle again on the inside edge. Next, walk the door over to the dry rack and lay the door gently on the bent aluminum rods. The entire trick is minimal contact. Finally, don't forget to take out the four aluminum rods for your next painted cabinet door. Why using the Dorak painter makes so much sense. If a cabinet job gets one primer, and two finish coats. And let's say each coat has to dry overnight. If each side of the door gets painted separately, that job will take six days. If both sides are painted simultaneously, the job will take three days. Another benefit is that you spray your doors horizontally, which gives you a much more professional cabinet finish job. The door rack painter will also solve the ongoing storage problems most painters experience when painting cabinet doors. Some people wonder if the aluminum rods or the grip holders will leave any markings. The answer is sometimes, but very little. If there are little marks on the interior edge, that's the least important and most forgiving part of the door. If there are any spots or marks on the inside edge, it's very simple to touch them up. Take a chip brush or a foam brush with a bit of paint, wipe most of it off on a piece of cardboard, then just tap the marks. This will make it disappear. This only will take a couple of seconds per door.